This is my 2003 Ford Ranger. A couple days ago, started running rough. Check engine light came on. Went ahead, hooked a scanner up to it. It's a little cheap one I got. And uh, it's giving me these three codes. Cylinder three misfire, engine misfire, random misfires. So, I replaced the spark plugs on it probably about six months ago um, when I got the truck. That's why I'm thinking it's probably not them. Uh, spark plug wires, I checked them out. They look, they all look good. They're not burnt up or nothing. It could still be them though. And they're about 40 bucks. Uh, I was able to check the coil pack. That's what I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, I ended up getting a new one. Picked this one up off Amazon. It's like 24 bucks, shipped to the door. So, hoping that's gonna be it. And fix this little problem that's having. This is a V6 3.0 engine. Here's where it's located at right here. All right, now I'm going to show you how to how I replace this coil on here. It's pretty simple. There's a uh, plug right here, and then you got your plug wires. You got three uh, made millimeter bolts. I'm going to start by just taking those out. Try not to drop them down in the engine. Just snap that plug wire off. There's a little button. I already loosened it up though. Then these wires, you don't want to just snatch them all off at one time because you might get it mixed up, putting them back on. So I like to take the other one and I'll put it, put it down on there, get it into place. So I can see the wires and just transfer the wires one one at a time or whatever I gotta do so I can see it. So I don't get get them. You don't want to get these put back on the wrong thing or it's not gonna run right. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull them off a couple at a time. Snap them on there. You put them on, you wanna make sure they're seated. Sometimes they'll click, sometimes they won't. That's the old one right there. And just go ahead and take your cannon plug connector and snap it back in there. Again, make sure they're all seated and 
Okay, I just fired it up. Go ahead and get this little skin in. Um, there's no codes now. But usually after I race them, it takes, uh, sometimes they pop right back up and sometimes it takes an hour or two of driving before they pop back up. It also kind of seems like whenever I turn the AC on, they'll pop them back up. But I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Just wanted to do a quick update. I've been driving this truck for about a month now since I changed the coil pack and Ain't had no more problems, no more lights, running real good, driving real good, no more idle problems. So if you have any of them codes, you might check that coil pack. It's about 13 bucks on Amazon. Be a good place to start and really cheap to fix. Make it real easy.